hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm actually in a neighborhood that i used to go to growing up it's a nice area for like families and like kids uh because there's like parks here and they basically have something for everybody like there's parks there's restaurants there's dessert places and it's kind of just a nice place to like walk around and enjoy like the weather less so today because it's raining but in comparison to what it was like earlier we'll take it okay i want to maximize like the weather right now so i'm gonna make this intro a little bit short but yeah, i just wanted to bring you guys along with me i just stopped by at cvs first and make a big girl purchase and by big girl purchase i mean an umbrella because i either seem to lose them or yeah i just seem to lose and if you're asking why i even chose today to like walk around and you know do an outdoorsy type of thing is because i'm immature and i don't check the weather so i had no idea that it was gonna rain today because again i don't check the weather um i didn't find out until like i literally already left the house i got cute and everything and then I realized it started pouring and there was a severe thunderstorm warning until 11 p.m. So we're just gonna keep our fingers crossed that like it stays like this for a while. Damn, he pulled in right next to my car like shit. He must have some good insurance. But yeah, guys, um, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Honestly, I'm gonna have a little bit of nostalgia because again, I've only really come here when I was younger. I think the last time I was here was probably just for like frozen yogurt or something like two years ago prime pandemic so that being said if you like this video like comment subscribe if not give you another opportunity and like comment and subscribe but let's cue the vlog sweet boy in because it's giving foggy ass camera but i ended up going to this pizza spot that i used to love going to as a child and then i remembered that there was a frozen yogurt place that i also like to go to that is two blocks away which is very convenient so i ended up walking to the frozen yogurt place i got my frozen yogurt and guess what happens I don't know if you guys can see, but it started pouring literally halfway. Actually, no, literally right after I, s I stepped out the door. It went from like drizzling to like, bitches, it's a fucking rainstorm. So that's fun, but yeah, I'm enjoying like my me time today, honestly. I just wanted to check in with you guys so that you know what's been happening for the past few hours. But that being said, I'm gonna focus on getting home safely because if there's um, a warning until 1 p.m. That means I should probably be home by yesterday before I get caught in this damn storm. So I'm gonna catch up with y'all when I'm in a drier and more safe environment. Show them what you have. I have pizza. No, Vicky, what do you have in your hand right now? A knife. No, the, the fruit. Ma, what is this called again? The I'm eating hikama. Good job, bubs. My mighty little thing. Have an idea. Good? Yeah. What number do you give it out of 10? Um, I'm, I'm six. It's a six? Yeah. Okay. Say hi, vlog. Hi, vlog. Big white mansion in my habitat. Ain't right a stitch like a latex. Fuck a rich bitch, have a rich set. Smoke a lot of trees, need a weed plant. This tickle lean where the lean at. Sleeping on these G's is a beanbag. 
I've been going jeans cause I'm cool with it. Checking from my fan life is fantastic. I was broke as hell, stepping on the mattress. I feel like a hell when nobody happens. Hot shells jumping out, they send me automatic. Hi guys, I'm checking in the next day. Um, let me give y'all a rundown basically what happened today because I have not at all been keeping y'all updated. But essentially, I ended up staying up like a little bit late yesterday. I thought I was going to have an early night, but I actually, I actually stayed up to finish editing a vlog. So I didn't go to sleep until like literally until 2 a.m. And then I ended up waking up earlier than anticipated um but i went to cracker barrel with my family with my mom stepdad baby sister i understand what people be talking about when they say that the restaurant gives racist something something does rub me the wrong way about that place you know but i must say aside from that the pancake schmack like if i were to rank i guess breakfast places in terms of who has the best i'll probably give it to them i just think ihop was like the shit but as i get older i'm like it's still good it's, it's good but like bad you know like i know the shit is like very processed but cracker barrel not saying that it's not processed but it just tastes more trustworthy it tastes more authentic to me i don't know more like reliable more como se dice like homey i don't know but point is we went there food smacked it honestly almost put me into a food coma so the fact that i like was okay driving afterwards was like a miracle because when i tell you i really i was really gonna spend the rest of the day like napping i'm not even exaggerating um but i actually ended up going to a house tour with my mom and my family which ended up being nice like she's working with a realtor and she's really nice and i got her some insight in terms of basically like perks not even that much because it's not even like it was an extensive conversation or she gave me like crazy recommendations but she gave me some insight in terms of like local management companies which was really helpful because like i'm not going to tell y'all like specifically where or like you know give you all the details right now but let's just say that i'm currently looking for places so uh, it was good to get like the inside scoop on like who to stay away from you know who to keep around so yeah it was nice just making that contact honestly and like you can tell when someone's just like good at their job and like for that reason they're good with people versus like they seem like genuinely good people like they have good energy i don't know just like you're comfortable with them and you trust them even though they're a stranger like i gave she gave that energy to me so it's giving, I'm taking her advice. But that being said, after the, the house showing, I actually ended up stopping at Aldi to get some groceries because it's about that time. I also feel like the past few days, last week, I've fallen into the habit of eating out and like just not eating the best food for me. So I ended up getting some quick things to make at home. I got some frijoles, some spinach, cause like, Sometimes I make that for breakfast or I can make that for, like if I wanna make a, a salad or something, I could just do that. I got some, get some fresco, some packs of like chicken breasts and yeah, some things just to like meal prep for the week. Yeah, my, my expenses, like my budgeting is just gonna have to change. Cause I just like need to have better spending habits. Like I really be buying like one thing here, one thing there and like that should be adding up. So it's giving, we're doing big girl things and we need to make big girl decisions. Honestly, I am not really planning on having too busy of a day aside from this. I really wanted today to be chill because like for some reason, yesterday was draining. I think staying up and not having much sleep was part of it because I think I only got like seven-ish hours of sleep. But I also think I've just felt burnt out the past couple weeks from everything. It's just been nonstop like stuff to do but you know in these moments again you just count your blessings you ask god to kind of like watch over you and like you release all of your stress all of your concerns and worries and fears to god and to the other spirits and energies that are protecting you so that's what i'm doing now um i'm gonna head home now and i will catch up with you guys later so far this vlog really is not super substantial because i've not 
been doing much honestly thought i was gonna do more yesterday and i thought i was gonna do more today but like sometimes you just gotta listen to your body so this vlog really has like not much direction but let's just enjoy a chill weekend with stella honestly because sometimes those are the best weekends hi y'all i'm moving out on my own into the city which is equally frightening and also exciting but because of that, I've been like going to home good. I have to do last minute packing because I love to wait to the last possible second to do what I need to do, which is, you know, the responsible thing. But yeah, I'm actually currently at Ikea. I'm gonna look around and see if I find anything that catches my eye. Honestly, I'm not really expecting to do much purchasing. It's more so like window shopping because I know with like your first apartment, just kind of just like, you're building from the ground up and it's gonna be fully furnished so it's not even like i need a lot but it's gonna be nice to you know just browse around and see what they have anything come back and get whatever it is you know over time so that being said i'll check in with you guys later i don't know how much i'm gonna vlog while i'm actually in the store but yeah guys i'll catch up with you soon that would have been nice do you want to say? Do you want to say hi? Bye. <laughs> Wait, say it how you're standing. About where? Stuck, girl. I can't. Girl, can you take it out, please? <laughs> For tall people too, girl. It's right up your alley. Girl. Oh. Y'all look at this bedroom. I'm not shy in the background. Yeah, I really like the Okay. Oh, let me test it out. Let me test it out. Oh, we got a cute little walk-in closet moment here. Hold on. <gasps> Girl, I love this. It's giving step in closet, but. <laughs> Girl, it's giving clothes to shade. Oh, oh, hold on. It's giving hide and seek. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I like the light over the, the yeah, clothes. I, like I thought it was going to be a little bit more like space to walk. Like, in a way bigger mirror than this. I just like, like bigger mirrors. Oh, I love the huge ones. I like, like not in every room. Like this door frame? Like that size? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I also really like these mirrors too. I like the idea of big giant pictures. I just like don't really know. Like I would want it to be like not some random movie, shit though. Like, not a random thing. That's like the hard part. Or so, like make it plain, like basic. Yeah. Not too super like busy. I, like I just walked back out into like a different That's reality because like i want a vibe but i don't want the vibe to like engulf me either i'm so tired now get my, my face. <gasps> Girl, this oh, my bathroom. look at the Girl, this is my 
a bathroom. Stop. Wait, I lied. I want this one instead. I love that. This is a lot bigger, but I like it. C. Ooh. I can't, bro. <laughs> Girl, you look good in this lighting. Girl, I love please. that shower head. Girl, I don't like those. I like it when it's like this. I like it because it's not in the way. I like it when it's like... But you can move it. I don't like being like a wet dog. That's what it makes me feel like when you just stand underneath. It don't feel good to me. Opposed to what? Girl, when you like get into a hotel shower and it's just like coming from the ceiling and you can't like... I don't like like dodging. Oh. Um, I don't like just being like... You like it squirting out. I'm gonna stop using that word. You like it like coming. <laughs> you like it like spouting out like that, like projecting. Yeah, projecting. Okay. So like that that, if I want to get under it, I can. Like I don't like like having to like. Feel like it's just like, like in my yeah. face. I don't like that. Like I drowning. Like like, it. I feel like I'm constantly like it gives like I'm washing my hair. That's true. Oh yeah. That oh, feeling. I see what you mean now. That I feeling. really like the colors of this. Girl, it's this so is clean. What I want. This is what I want. Girl, girl, tell me I'm my mom's daughter. I'm definitely washing stuff by hand. I love to wash a good white shirt with some cool rocks and some. Girl, don't play with me. Eleven ninety nine for this. Girl, girl, go take that shit right now. Girl, take it right now. My mom, you add it to cart. Add it to cart. I don't think I could take it like this. <laughs> with the clothes girl, and everything. To, let me just clock into work. Eight fifty nine. It's like I'm back in Europe. Girl, not the plan. Okay, I'm gonna rate it. Girl, use it. It would taste better crunchy. Nah, that's good. You want one? Nah, girl. Fine. Girl, I think you should get like a frozen like pack of meatballs. And like the way when you like cook it, it get a little, get a little, um, you know what I'm talking about? It get a little crispy on the, on the outside. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love a good crisp. Yeah, girl. I even like this texture though. Really? Without it being it's like very like I like everything crisp, crunchy. I like everything like crisp. Ooh. Hard, hard as a rock. Mm hmm. Holy. Mm. You sure? Yeah, girl. See, it would have been a lot better with the mashed potatoes, right? With yeah. the gravy. If I mixed it all together. Mm hmm. But this is good. Yeah. This would even be good with some spaghetti. Mm hmm. Okay guys, so I just realized I didn't check in before, but I just got out of TJ Maxx. I don't want to do anything too crazy. I actually ended up just coming, one, to see if they have like this one cause RX all in one moisturizer that a lot of people are going crazy about on skin talk i guess because apparently it's really hard to find and i wanted to also look for like some fall clothing slash cold weather clothing because i honestly don't have a lot of it i tend to just kind of like layer up my summer clothes but like that's not the best idea crop tops and my hoochie shit basically but i'm like okay you know what we're kind of in a different era right now i'm saying that but i'm always gonna love my crop tops it is what it is but i just think it's good to have both you know like just a couple of basics that i can use as like go-to pieces when it's a little chillier like it has been this past week i swear there's literally i've been telling everyone like there's been no transition i feel like between summer and fall it was like one week it was 90 degrees high 80s and now it's like 60s damn near 50 degrees so i don't know that shit caught me off guard i'm not gonna lie but because of that i'm like i think it's time to at least just get a couple of things um i'm probably not gonna do like a larger like make a larger purchase when it comes to clothing until maybe black friday or closer to the holidays because there's just no need to i just kind of want to pace myself when it comes to that as of right now but i'm um, gonna go to lowe's and then i'm gonna head home i'm not sure if i should get something for dinner or slash what i should get for dinner but i feel like i should definitely get something 
because my sugar has been low like essentially you guys saw some clips of it but i literally forgot how big ikea was let's start off with that like i told her afterwards i said girl and if you were from pa you know what i'm talking about it felt like i walked all of king of pressure mall because babes that shit was exhausting that was a whole workout i swear cheyenne and i were there for two hours like and mind you i feel like we didn't really at least for me like i didn't really click that there was so much to still see because i just be consumed by it when i'm in each little room and you know when i'm being i don't know kind of like using the rooms for inspiration um what's that word called i'm just like daydreaming about like what my dream home will look like i get consumed by each moment that i'm like shit we still have like three thousand square feet to cover so we ended up staying there for two hours and i ended up trying the swedish meatballs which were low-key fire i'm not gonna lie i told cheyenne like they had like frozen meatballs i was like i will literally buy these meatballs and make spaghetti like make myself some pasta that should have slapped because it's just the moisture of it was so good they did that shit we yeah, did that and then they had like i don't know if it was yogurt ice cream some soft serve of some sort and i got like the strawberry swirl or some shit like that it tasted like sorbet if you guys have ever had it it wasn't bad but i feel like maybe i should have gotten the regular one like cheyenne suggested because it wasn't ice creamy it was just very sorbet if you know what i mean like it's giving water ice like fruity not really ice cream so but anyways that brings us to now it's time to go pick up those boxes and then at least start packing tonight if i'm not too exhausted i'm not sure if i'm gonna get something to eat because i'm starving i've not eaten a meal technically like i had the meatballs but i haven't eaten a meal like a full meal since breakfast so it might be that time i'm low-key craving a salad but we'll see what we're gonna do <laughs> Sunday now. Um, not, not my sister, but I'm checking in. Let me knock her out. And also... <laughs> Say bye, Jenny. No, Jenny, don't wave. Say hi to the vlog. What are you eating? Pizza. Yeah? Yeah. From where? From Starbucks. Yeah. You're a mini me, aren't you? Macaroni. Mickey, please. With no. the chicken strips. Macaroni. The chicken strips. What the? Creamers. Creamers. The stone is to buy some almond Ooh, almond is gold. Ooh, almond is gold. Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice? I'm getting 
the target. Roni with the chicken strips. Uh. You would think it's her channel, right? Oh. Cheese. Cheese bacon. Where's bacon at? We're almost done, okay, Vicky? We're almost done, okay, Vicky? Okay, girl. Okay, girl. We can clean the shell, bro. We can clean the shell with the shell, bro. Pancake cereal. Pancake cereal? I will eat that, I'm not gonna lie. I will eat that, I'm not gonna lie. <gasps> Should I try this? Should I try this? But it's made with cream, that's the issue. I'm pretty sure if I go to Whole Foods or something, I'll probably find more alternatives there. Yeah, I didn't eat it. Okay, Vicky, now we just gotta get yeah. bacon. Okay, Vicky, now we have to just Vicky get bacon. Can you can't stop copying these. Yeah. So yummy, tasty. When did you eat a white pumpkin? Mm. Last morning. Last morning? Yeah. I did. See? Yeah. Well, I don't see any one. Yeah. Which one's better, Vicky? Gold or silver? Um, this one? Or this one? Um, silver. I'm a gummy bear. I'm a gummy, gummy, gummy. I'm a silver. Give me those. The rainbow ones. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, this is so cute. Can you please pass it to me? Which one? This? Yep. Look at all of them. They're so cute. Uh, oh my god. Hi guys, it's now Monday, um, where do I even start y'all, like, I really need to just get over my fears and like bring my tripod around when I vlog around stores, like in public, cause I just need to get over it, cause the angles just don't be given, and mind you, you all saw yesterday's like footage, which I... I'm only going to put in a little bit of it because I don't want y'all to like have to deal with a terrible angle the whole time. But the phone fell like very early on because my sister had her coffee in the, the shopping cart and was moving it, which the phone was leaning on. And then Victoria kept pulling the phone obviously off of the cart because she also suffers from eating character syndrome. But yeah, that was kind of like all of yesterday. I ended up just like cutting it short because again, I wasn't gonna have y'all deal with that terrible quality. I think that was it for yesterday. So that leads to today. It's now Monday. I worked through most of the day. Guys, I'm T minus seven days from moving. Please pray for me. I'm gonna keep y'all posted. Right now I'm gonna go to Chipotle. I decided to not hibernate for one second because I was craving like a quesadilla from there. So I'm gonna get that. Vicky, do you want something from Chipotle? Mm -hmm. We're gonna see what they have, okay? Do you want some um, tortilla chips? Yeah. Okay, I might get Vicky some tor tortilla chips. I probably should just eat what's in the house, but I don't know, I've been craving it. I'm like, like during my cycle, it's just giving I gotta treat myself. So I'm gonna do that today. And tomorrow we're gonna jump back into the gym. I'm gonna try to go three days in a row. If not tonight, honestly, cause like 
I don't know if it's because I've been feeling heavy. So that's the game plan. So let's head to Chipotle and let's go from there. Mm -hmm.